My mother used to say to me, I hate you because you are ugly. And for years, amidst the tears, I used to let her words define me. Coupled with the violence, there was not a single way that a girl like me would ever get the chance to grow up normally. For years, I took to heart those words of negativity, but thankfully today, I look at life more philosophically. And as I share my story with you all, I've come to realise that it has to be a miracle how I've managed to survive. Physically and mentally, my mind and body still intact. The fact that I'm still here to tell the tale means something out there has got my back. And I'm amazed at how I got through every grim ordeal. I sometimes have to pinch myself to see if it's all real. And as I look back on those years, when hard knocks ran rivers of tears, and the images of those days, yeah, they were bad. But time has healed the pain and I'm so glad that I went through the beatings and abuse for if I had not done it, I could not share this with you. Without all of that experience, how could I ever show people who had been through similar hardships how they too can grow? Do you know, I honestly believe that it was all meant to be to turn me into the person that you can now all see. It has made me a master in my chosen field. The school of hard knocks is not fiction. It is real. And as you endure every pain, every hurt, and you grow up thinking that you have no worth, and your pain turns to sorrow, a burden like curse, until one day your bubble finally burns. And then all of a sudden, the scales from your eyes are lifted, and then you soon realise that you are much more than what one person thinks of you, and there starts your journey towards a new avenue. And each step that you tread Along the new road brings clarity of mind as you shed every load and the people you meet, well, they're different from those in the past who would seek to stunt you in growth. Well, as you can see, <laughs> I'm still alive. I have a master's degree on how to survive. And this journey, well, it's brought me to a single conclusion. Where there's a problem, there's also a solution. So, I've set up this programme called Show and Grow to help raise vibration for those who don't know that they have a greatness inside them of worth and it's my job to show them survival on earth. I didn't go through this life with the pains I've endured just to cower in corners, afraid to be heard. No, I used to do that but not anymore because my life now has purpose and I am ready for war. And each soul that I help with what I now know will benefit greatly from this show and grow. It's a program for those seeking positive change, stuck at a crossroads, trying to cope with their pain. Well, I am a master at showing them how to grow through adversity because I can now honestly say that I'm grateful today for the life that I've had and will not ever change. People. Our world needs leaders to show them the light and I am just one that can help with that plight. I now have the tools to assist each survivor with the aim of creating a new breed of warrior. My program provides the tools to keep going, created by those in the know who are showing how they have managed to cope with their pain, embrace every moment and live life again. Show and grow is now my life's purpose. And all that I went through is finally worth it. It's all my life's work and it's all that I think of. Show and grow will be my legacy of love.
Surviving the Storm was written by someone that has been there, come out the other side, and is ready to share positive tips on how to remain uplifted in spirit no matter what life throws their way. It encourages survivors to embrace their pain so as they can then go on to use it as a tool for self-development and it is for anyone seeking positive change within their life. So if you know of anyone that is looking to be inspired into positively changing their circumstances or thoughts, then please buy them a copy of Surviving the Storm by Jenny Mathias. It currently has five-star reviews and is now out on Amazon.